Today, let's check out this 1969 American Eagle Classic GT. This is a very rare motorcycle because it was only imported into the United States in this condition for a, probably one year. The bike is a La Verda, badged as an American Eagle. They were brought in through McCormick International. Jack McCormick uh, brought in a number of different motorcycles into the United States and was in instrumental in the early years of uh, motorcycling, let's say in through the, through the uh, 60s, uh, bringing in a lot of uh, bikes from Japan, Italy, and I believe even England, if I'm not mistaken. But what makes this bike so rare is, being that it's badged as an American Eagle, McCormick only brought in probably one batch of these bikes, badged them under his name, and with much effort, I'm sure, tried to sell them throughout the uh, country. But if you think back in 1969, Honda's coming out with the 750 and a much more powerful company behind them, basically just, and also a much better product, basically just kicked ass on the market. And these Laverda 750s were sort of left in the dust. And yes, that is 203 original miles on this bike. This is an original Survivor. We believe it to be repainted. Well, I can almost guarantee that it's been repainted, but obviously a number of years ago. It has the original exhaust system with the Laverda brand on it. And if you take a look at this engine, the shades of the Honda 305 sort of come to mind. Apparently, Laverda was over in Japan and checked out the early Hondas, and I think it helped come up with this, uh, with this engine back in the day. But he incorporated a lot of really great items, uh, Cheriani front end, Gramica brakes, I think they're Barani wheels. So virtually you're buying a real time capsule here. It's running twin Del Ordo carburetors. And what's interesting is the cases are horizontally split. What's nice about it is they used Bosch ignition instead of going to the English to uh, supply all the electronics. So you can have something at least that's dependable. But again, Laverda is a terrific name. The American Eagle is a part of history. As a matter of fact, Evil Knievel used to use Laverda when he first started out, or at least on some of his bikes. I guess he was backed by American Eagle for a while before he jumped into the Triumphs and the Harleys later on. Well, you can check this bike out on our website at baderinternational.com, or you can call me direct and I'll be happy to speak to you about it. Also, make sure you check out all the rest of the bikes that we have available for sale. If you like what we're doing here, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel.